Okay, let's talk about femininity. The second part that I'm into. Second thing. Oh, femininity. Yeah. So, one of the reasons I'm really, really in love with this whole thing is because of the magic that it can do. I mean, I guess myself, I'm more feminine naturally and I just had it all the time. And I mean, I kind of, I used to be a tomboy actually, but I was still girly at the same time, if that makes sense. But. Um, especially recently, like maybe last five, six, seven years, I've been really feeling that. Well, okay, of course, part of it maybe is because in Russia it's crazy popular. It was really popular like about six or seven years ago to the point that now there are a bunch of women who are actually against that whole thing and it's like, oh, it's everywhere and it like a neurosis of femininity and stuff like that, which I can understand because it can be too much. So there's should be moderation everywhere. However, um, the whole concept of femininity, why it is important right now, sort of two aspects about it. The first one is, of course, it depends on the culture and history and um, it's something that I'm planning to on studying again. Uh, but depending on the history of the country and culture, um, like let's say in Russia, it is popular because women start realizing that they've they've been brought up by people, their parents or, or grandparents, who went through war, which were not, you know, people or women of, of war were not really feminine, obviously. So, because there was not like a priority, of course, to wear heels and dresses there. So they didn't think of that and um, most women in Russia were, were brought up as people, like, with no gender, like just people, not women. And um, where, like, before, I think it's before revolution and all the stuff that happened, um, we used to have, I think it's called, like, an institute of noble young women or something like that, where women would go and be there and live there and learn the art of womanhood, you know, like what is it that to be a woman, what does it mean, and um, I guess they were going through rite of passages there too, not necessarily religious, but it's just that they were involved in that more before the revolution came and they decided to make everyone equal. Um, so yeah, so now because the world is changing and we're changing and we're pretty much ascending women start realizing that oh there's this whole thing you know called femininity and I guess because I'm in a woman's body it kind of relates to me so that's the idea if you are born in a woman's body you do have woman's dharma which is an Indian word it's pretty much something that you're supposed to be doing in life because you were you're incarnated or you came to this earth in a female body. So that means that automatically the laws of female energy and feminine energy, well, energy doesn't have gender, but like a female body, I guess, or reality applies to you. And if you ignore them, I mean, there are some consequences, which is fine too, you can do that. Um, but like if you take a chance to actually follow the rules and laws of a female body reality, it gives you something that you cannot get when you just don't care about it, you know? Let's put it this way. So of course everyone has a choice to do whatever. But if you just try that other thing, just give it a try. It's amazing. First of all, it's incredibly delicious for me, the energy, the femininity. For me, it's like beautiful, thick honey. And I think there are some kids yelling there, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> if you hear them. I hope they're okay. So the energy of community is like this beautiful 
honey that is sweet and just wonderful and delicious. Um, it's warm, it's definitely sattvic, and that's the word from Ayurveda, and sattvic means harmonious or auspicious. It kind of brings you in this state of beingness, so it's a lot about present, and it gives you an ability to create the atmosphere around you, like the environment, the energy, like even more, you know, because you women are they have really powerful energetic bodies like emotional bodies for example much stronger than the one in men That's why we're so emotional <laughs> But but for the same reason We shouldn't just shut the emotions. We actually can use them for our benefit We can use them to create this flur um, the beautiful vibe going on that only a woman can create this is amazing gift if you think of it like really it's just magic <sighs> so yeah when i started going into that deeper and deeper i'm still on the surface i know because there's much more there but just swimming in that is amazing. It's it's very calming. It's very soothing. It's very stabilizing. It is very It's just kind of brings you back to like the state of happiness without any reason, I don't know how to explain that. Like contentment and satisfaction. And technically you don't really need anything or anyone. When you're in that you're just you're just being, you know? But like I said, you can also offer this as a gift to the world. So I said that one of the reasons why that the femininity started to appear more is because of the war in Russia. Um, in here in America, what I noticed is it's a different story. It's not so much about war because there was not very many wars happen here. I mean, there are some, but it's not like the same extent. I think that is just about. So the here is called divine femininity, which I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's still femininity, but it's like it's in conjunction with spirituality here. So the divine femininity here is has a flavor of like being more strong and powerful and independent. So there's like a feminist flavor, um, which I cannot really relate to much because I'm not a feminist. Um, I guess in this in a general meaning, I mean maybe I'm some sort of feminist, but um, I, I believe in gender roles. Yeah, <laughs> because I. I just know that men and women are different. So, but anyway, here there's a, it's a divine femininity, and um, yeah, it's about being empowered, which is really good. Um, but I do see that the tendency here is going. It's like it's it's a little bit too much now because um, to the point that it's kind of um, pushing men out. You know what I mean? Like it's just, it's like an extreme. I'm not entirely into this here too. So what I'm doing myself is I'm kind of mixing all these things and I'm blending out what I feel is authentic for me. Um, and what is authentic for me is that femininity is very powerful but in a soft way. It's not powerful as strong and loud and persistent. It's powerful in flexibility and adaptability and just ability to stay here no matter what happens around you, but also at the same time still being like warm and soft and liquidy like honey. Um, yeah, maybe I should think like of a better metaphor. but. It's something really delicious, 
um, flexible and warm and lovely. That's how I can call it. Um, so far I've noticed people enjoy it, both men and women. Of course men mostly enjoy it. <laughs> um, but it's really, it's like about creating a lovely, warm, nice world around you. And that's, you know, like, because when you are like this, people will feel it, like I said, and it relaxes them. That's what I notice. It makes them feel like, you know, oh, everything is good. Because this energy has a motherly vibe too. So they feel like they're being taken care of on some weird level, which is not really weird actually. It's because it's the energy of Earth, right? It's coming from beneath us. And it's Earth, which is accepting, nurturing. It's taking care of us. It's always there for us. It's very motherly. Um, so that's why I have a blog where I share about it. Um, I take a lot of stuff from Russian internet, from my own experience, and I just mix it up. But additionally, and it's going to be in the end of the video, of course, I'm doing practices that I would like to offer to you. Anyway, so the practices that I'm doing are wonderful and they work. And um, maybe I'll share one by one or something. We'll see. But they help you get in tune with this more. Um, yeah. I think that's it for right now.